Welcome to my nightmare, bitch. Hello everyone, this is Dark Dimensions Hide House, and today we're doing a video on Nightmare on Elm Street. We have the Halloween mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Jennifer's got her glove right there. <laughs> the pinky's not working. But uh, okay, so these are Trick or Treat Studios. There's three different masks that they have. They have the Springwood Slasher, which is part one. Jennifer's gonna point to it. They have Revenge, which is part two. And they have Dream Master, which is part four. All right, when you buy these from Trick or Treat Studios, you, get them, you can buy them with the mask and the hat or just the masks by themselves. So they have the different hats. They're different, like weathered. We're gonna check them out. So you wanna open these up and we're gonna check them out, Jen. All right, so this one's the first one. All right, keep in mind, I've seen other reviews and I've seen on like Facebook, the Trick or Treat uh, Studios page, and there's people that'll buy these masks and they're complaining about them and repainting them, doing rehauls and stuff on there. But I don't know, I like them just the way they are. What do you think, Jen? I think this one's good. So this one's the first one. All right, so yeah, first one, Robert England, all three of them. So let's see some of the details on there. My daughter was talking about his ear being all yeah, burnt. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. The, the sculpt is really good. And a lot of people ask, like, how did the mask fit? When I wear this mask, this mask, like, fits my face. Like, fits it perfectly. Like, there's no, like, parts where it moves around or whatever. But, uh, of course, it's not those kind of masks where the mouth moves whenever you move with it. But, yeah, some really good details. Like, really good sculpt. And then, like I said, I'm doing 4K videos so you can see the, the paint job on it and see for yourself what you think. So yeah, there's the detail. And then let's see the front of the face one more time. I mean, yeah, it's right. really good details like on the, uh, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, everything. Like it looks like Robert England. So yeah, there's the first one. And then we'll show like with the, the hats on them also. So this one's part two. This one is Revenge. This one, it's not as detailed. It feels thinner. It feels thinner? Yeah. It feels thick. Yeah, it doesn't have as much detail as like the, the first one. But here's this one. This one looks a little bit like older, more realistic like burnt, I guess, right? Is that realistic, Bert? I don't know. We well, because I think that when they first did it, they kind of went for like that pizza look. Kind of like how Chucky with the pizza face. But yeah, this one, the mouth is kind of closed. It just, it's a different texture. So there's that one right there. I mean, I like the first one better. If you ask my opinion, my review. That one feels too thin. Feels too thin? Yeah. So there's that one right there. And then, the Dream Master. Also, if you see our other videos, like we've met Amanda Kruger at a convention, which is Freddy Krueger's mother. All right, so this one is a really good, all right, this one's a good sculpt. This one, probably would be my favorite. I don't know, I mean, the first one's really good. I like the first one. The second one is my least favorite. But yeah, that one's a really good face. Like, when you see it, you see Robert England. What do you think, Jen? I'm gonna go with this one. You, you still like the first one? Mm -hmm. I mean, the paint color is better. They are different sculpts, like different textures and stuff. So yeah, there's the back on there. Some of the detail. See the front again? Robert England. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and match the hats. Here's the difference with the hats on them. There are three different style hats. I'm not really sure which one goes which. I'm assuming this one right here is going to be more weathered. So it'd be for the, the fourth one. This one actually has, I don't know what that is, like this band around it. So I don't know if that would go for the first one or which one. It's the only one that has the band on it. But yeah, it does have some scuffs on it. I did see some people complaining about the hats. They weren't satisfied with the hats. I think the hats look really, or fedora, right? I think the fedoras 
I mean, they're not cheap. Like, they're good material. And they aged them and everything. So, there they are with their fedora hats. So, you can see the difference. This one's missing some patches. Yeah, that's, I'm thinking that one's the, the more weathered one. Let's see if I can see some other details on here. You need to come back here. <laughs> yeah, see how it's more weathered? They all kind of look the same, except that one's a different color. Yeah. So there they are. The Trick or Treat Studios, Nightmare on Elm Street. Anyways, I just wanted to show some of the details, see what y'all think, if that'll help y'all decide which one y'all think's the best one. So yeah, I even have one of my sons, his action figure. Jennifer likes the first one. And then, also Trick or Treat Studios, they do sell the replica gloves, and they have the first, second, and the fourth also. This one is from Morris Costume, so, but it is a metal one. So it is one of the metal ones right there. The shots? The shots? No, I think that's another company, like when we go to like the horror conventions. But yeah, if you want to check out our other videos, like where we met Amanda Kruger, she was really awesome. She was very informative and she talked to us and told us all the different kind of stuff from behind the scenes, uh, the merch she sells. And we've also met Robert England, who was really awesome. I thought he's got a mold, but he don't. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, anyways, thanks for watching our, our review video, like on the- This one just looks like an old man. Looks like With an old man. With some bad acne back in the day. <laughs> Yeah. With the hats on. Yeah, the fedora. Even the behind the scenes, like where they were talking about the movie, you know, when uh, Wes Craven was talking about like where he got his inspiration and all that kind of stuff, that was really interesting. It was like a documentary, I think it was on Netflix. But anyways, thanks for watching our review video on Nightmare on Elm Street, the Trick or Treat Studios mask. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. This is Dark Dimensions Haunted House.